And Storm Team 4 meteorologist Liz McGiffin here with your most accurate forecast. Liz, people heading out to the spring game, maybe they're getting ready to head out the door. What should they know about the weather today? Well, know that just because it's wet now doesn't mean that it's going to be that way all day long. That's really been the theme of spring so far, especially the month of April, is that it will be raining for part of the day, but it'll be far from a washout, and this weekend is no exception. So the showers, we're getting them out of the way early this morning. I want to point out as well, you're looking at a loop over the last three hours where it just seems like we're stuck in that pattern, where as soon as one batch of rain moves out, the next one starts to build in just off to the west. So down from the south into Columbus, stretching into Obets, even down toward the Circleville area, continuing to see that light to moderate rain. Closer yet over toward Canal Winchester, Pickerington, even toward Pataskala and Buckeye Lake. Probably starting to hear that rainfall pick up just a little bit more. And again, while it won't be an all day washout, it is going to be on the cool side. You notice that now with the Window Nation Tower camera, we do have a few of those raindrops still hitting the camera lens, but as they break up, we're going to be left behind with plenty of clouds, and that'll be a theme throughout at least the morning hours. And temperature wise, we've been holding pretty steady in the low 50s. Right now, Columbus just checking in at 53 degrees. We have that light west to southwesterly breeze, and that's gradually going to become more northwesterly as we head throughout the afternoon because we're sitting behind a cold front. Now with the cold front, well, it's gradually going to be getting rid of some of the moisture as well. So you'll notice between 9 a.m. and noon, finally starting to get rid of some of the green. So that means the rain showers will be wrapping up and the northwesterly wind means not only colder air, but also drier air that'll be moving in. So between about 3 and 8 p.m. So in time for the Clippers game in time for the crew match, well, we're going to start to add back in a little bit of sunshine. But keep in mind, layers may be your friend as we continue to bring in some of that chilly air. And overnight tonight, we are going to gradually watch those temperatures fall back down toward the 30 degree mark. So heads up for first thing on your Easter Sunday. We will gradually add back in the sunshine, but it is going to be a very cold start to the day. So as far as all those events that are going on, again, the seats may be a little wet for the Buckeye game that kicks off at noon this week for the spring game. We're gradually, hey, we're going to not only bring up the temperature to the upper 50s, but add in a little bit of the sunshine as well. So again, layers are going to be a good thing to have on hand. And not only do we have the Clippers with the first pitch at four o'clock where we'll have those temperatures in the upper 50s, but as we head toward the evening hours, we have a crew match as well, and that's especially going to be one where I think you want to make sure that you're staying nice and layered up because despite the sunshine, it may look a little nicer than it feels by the time you're driving home from that. It's going to be back down into the mid 40s and first thing in the morning tomorrow, like we mentioned, we'll have temperatures that fall back down toward 30 degrees. So areas along and south of 70, we're technically heading into the growing season. So you're going to notice these freeze warnings. They go into effect late tonight and continue on until 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. By then, we'll finally start to see those numbers recover a little bit more and work their way out of the 30s. As far as what we're dealing with first thing this morning, like we mentioned, soggy conditions, slow, steady climb back up to a high around 5 o'clock of 58 degrees. Now, first thing for your Sunday morning, waking up on the cold side, we'll have widespread areas of frost. So that's why we have those freeze warnings in full effect throughout the morning hours. Brief break in the rainfall, though, because Alan on Monday will be greeted with more of those April showers, followed by a bit of a boost in temperature and a few passing clouds on Tuesday and Wednesday.